Well, Nina, a bit. A friendly little spot of bother down the left, the bailout zone. Someone accidentally stolen it, so we've got to we put it down. Got it to here. This is third from 72. Beautiful shot. Just ball outside the left. It'll be nice and firm with this. Shot for Nienhaber as well, so he moves. Didn't have the lead for very long, did he? Had it for about nine seconds. Well, look at Nienhaber out with three wood. He'll be able to blow these, this bunker down the left out of play. Hopefully he finds the ferry to give himself a nice shot in. Lovely. That is serious club head speed. Gorgeous tee shot yet again in A1 position, just two yards close, 105 yards. He's really dominated this hole. Can he do it again? He's got to come in, take the spin off it if he can. Something in the air at the third hole. The drive of Cockrells is a long one. It's, a, it's about 320. But if he catches this, let's have a little comparison. Oh, you little animal. Well, this is an interesting one. He's got 229 here for Wukanina, but at the right rough. Who's he going to go over the tree? He's going low. He's got to try and cut this one round as well from left to right. This has got some serious hang time. Yes, uh, oh, oh. Tina up on the right as well. Look at Nina, but out with wedge. Can you believe it? 184 yards, taking it straight at it. Ooh, a little bit of a double cross. Oh. Now that is poor with the wedge. Morgie, could he get relief from the path? Because if he could get. A drop and take it a club yeah, length further right would surely help. Well, this is it, right? So, you know, if he's going to take his natural stance, I do feel his left foot is going to be on the path. I think he's going to ask the ref. He's going to keep him close by. He's not going to let him go too far away. This was a great break. Can he take advantage of it? No, that's not fantastically played. Just. It just looked like he didn't have the confidence to get it high and soft. Can cut loose with this one. Yeah, yeah, boy. Moi, Afrikaans for good from his playing partner, Jacques Blau. Two cuts for a birdie off that booming drive. Oh, this is great pace. That's a proper putt for his birdie. We'll go down in the stats as a one putt birdie. Ready? Excellent. Great bounce back after that birdie on the par three fifth. He's been good at that. And now he's back at the top of the leaderboard of the Joburg Open. Iron out here for Wicker Nienober. Bunker in the distance on the left is 293, so he's not going to reach that. Oh, that was a friendly little hop. Oh, look how fast that is, as John was saying. That's very nicely played there from Nina, but you're a star, Morgan. Yeah, very fortunate. Noel Horn doing us a favour coming on, plus many other great people. As we see, Nina, but launching at one. Can he get there? I'm gone. Put him in seventh place in this putts per round for the South Africans on tour this season. It's a chance to get to 13 under par. He's done it. Good up and down in the end. 
Gets him to one under par for his round. And he's been tested today. Nino, a ripping driver. And his 13th. And when you're talking about that test, cool, it does make me give it the old... <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, geez Louise, but what a drive that is. Split in the two bunkers. A one position. We're going in with an iron. Let's say, take the 10% into account. This is 243 to the front edge. The pin today on 15. He's out with the iron, coming in high. It looks like it's squeezed straight right off the club face. It's going to gather some peace. And he's out in front by one alone now. And he's looking to become the youngest ever winner of the Joburg Open. 20 years, 229 days old. 172 for Wicker Nina, but just in that first cut, just ran into it, but it's a lovely light. This one, a lovely ball flight, coming in nice and low. Yeah, oh, all that glove is going on behind me, and they're all having a little chin wag. Um, Look at Nina over here from the right side of the green. And this is a little soft double breaker. Bit left to right to begin with, then right to left to finish. Come on, a little soft here. Not easy to judge, but I tell you what, his pace button has been excellent today. Hope I put the jinx on. No, you haven't put the jinx on him. Brilliant stuff. See what that means to him. It's going to be a very big day for him tomorrow. Back out in front on his own, by one. Yeah. He's scared of trees and rocks out there, but he'll be so far past that. Oh, he is so far past it, Tony. Oh. Look at that, mate. I mean, we... And it's so impressive. I mean, how straight is he? My goodness. I mean, you're hitting it a country mile. And you're able to hit it as straight as this. I mean, what an asset. I mean, he's staring down with a pin in a luxurious position for him. Can take this on. He's probably got a wedge in his hand, taking it nice and easy over the bunker. And this is looking nice. Sure, look at the action he got on that. I know, and that's a par five boxy. I know. Unbelievable. I know, 547 yards, driving a wedge. Played this hole particularly well with a couple of bogeys over the first two rounds, Ninaba. It's a lot better, it's a good driver. But the airtime he gets on his shots is unbelievable. Beautiful, beautiful. It must have been some eye opener, Ellie, when. Jason started working from the beginning of the week and said, OK, well, okay, let me just write down here what you're working <laughs> with each club. OK, wedge, 200. What? Didn't learn. Did not learn. That was almost a carbon copy. Yeah, it was. Four from the left. If you bring it out, and quite a bit to the right, I feel. Giving it the lean. Okay, uh, from where he was, that's not that bad. Now this one downhill, breaking hard off the right. He's four under. Can he make it five? And again, his touch has not let him down. He's been brilliant for the long-range cuts. He's made very few glaring errors on the greens. When he's been under the pump, he's usually delivered. And that's a round of 67 for Wilco Naba. He leads by one going into the final round tomorrow. That seems to be a good partnership too. First week on the bag for Jason. He'd probably like a, a two or three shot buffer. He had it for a moment earlier today.
But if it was a round of 67, held up well under the pressure. Look, a fantastic effort out there this afternoon in quite tricky conditions. Um, watching you go about your own, it looked like you really found your groove out there. Um, it felt like a struggle, to be honest. Um, but I, around the turn, like yesterday, I hold a, a few crucial pots, um, which really kept the momentum, the momentum going. Um, and from there, I just, I just kept going. So I'm, I'm pleased with the, with the round. Was it quite an exciting experience? Could you enjoy it? Did you know what was going on around you? How much, how aware of the situation are you when you're out there? Um, I, I like to be as aware as can be um, of what's going on leaderboard wise um, then I, I feel like I, I know what to do um, so I've always been that way and it's and it's worked so um, I enjoyed it a lot um, it was umbrellas up and down and uh, rain tops up and down and on and off and it's uh, it, it was an interesting day I think it was a pretty long round as well um, but hopefully tomorrow we'll have a, a sunny day in terms of the relationship with your caddy on a day like today it's really important because they've got to keep you positive keep you dry keep everything in place and um, how did that side of things go it looked to be going really well from, from the pictures we saw today. Uh, Jason's been really good um, Jason's been good on and off the course um, and the rain rain whatever there was um, I didn't didn't really um, feel like there was anything um, it was really good. He, he handled it really well, um, and felt like he he had more than two hands um, at a at, at a stage, having to carry everything. But um, I'm really happy with Jason, um, and I think uh, we've done a, a decent job so far. So we'll see what tomorrow. At one stage, you pulled clear of the field, and Joachim sort of edged his way back. Did did you enjoy that kind of mini battle that that was going on out there this afternoon? To be honest, I wasn't aware that I I pulled clear. Um, I thought that it was quite bunched, and then, um, then when I made the three birdies in a row, I thought that I, I would make up uh, some room. And then I, when I saw the next leaderboard, I saw he was just behind me, um, which is great. It, it pushes me. So uh, it was, uh, it was nice to s to see they played really well. And then just finally, how much are you looking forward to the challenge that to tomorrow brings? It's going to be great. Um, it's it's going to be the first time um, that I'm in that situation. Um, and I'm, I'm just going to embrace it and, and enjoy the day. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.